<clears throat> Hi everyone, we're back and today the topic for discussion is the integumentary system. In, I, I hope I pronounced it correctly, integumentary. What it basically means is that it's the skin and those coverings all over your body. In the case of animals, you have things like um, feathers, take the, the seals, they have so much fat that protects their bodies. And if you take a look in the first picture, we might ask the skin, what is the purpose, what does it serve? It has a lot of work to do, as simple as it looks. Here are two people on the left with an umbrella. They're being protected from the rain by the umbrella. Well, so does the skin protect the body from all kinds of harsh conditions. Also, the skin has other functions as well, like sweating, as you know, and it also can, um, in cold weather, retain heat. You know, you've seen people's veins, you can hardly find them because they get vasoconstriction. <clears throat> well, let's look a little bit further into the skin. And here we have what is called, you can see awake or asleep, the skin does its work. You see on an airplane, you see people sleeping. Some people are awake, the skin still has work to do. In fact, after you've been on a long flight, if you look at your skin, sometimes it looks fairly dehydrated. Um, you know, as nurses, we do what is called the Braden scale. And that scale is counted in four stages. You do, I mean, pressure ulcers, I think they're in four stages and take that back. Usually institutions have a policies and procedures in place for how you work with those things, depending on where you worked. I used to work in trauma a lot, and people have really, really bad, uh, you know, so much damage to the skin because when you have traumas, bashed up in a car accident, you might have people who had to have... Um, plastic surgery done to repair all those layers of damage. And on the right hand side, in the upper right hand corner, you can see that the beginning of skin breakdown on that right buttock. And of course, I don't have to tell you about turning and positioning, good body alignment, soft booties are some of the ways. Nutrition also plays a very important role. Now let's take a look at the surgical patient. Um, this is actually, a patient is in PACU, which means he's already been to surgery. Uh, there's so much we can learn through the skin. When we put that pulse oximeter on the finger, this, it has the ability to pick up through the skin uh, the oxygen saturation in the blood. Isn't that great? <clears throat> really wonderful to just be able to put one of those things on and tell right away if uh, somebody's getting enough oxygen. And I have seen in many cases where it's been a real lifesaver, where um, just because the skin was cool and clammy, you put it on and you read the oxygen saturation was so low, and usually it's very accurate. It's well placed, it's usually very accurate. Another purpose for the skin is uh, what we never think of. We do things like ACA checks, blood glucose monitoring, again, the skin. And also we give IM injections, skin again. We go through the skin, and how about IV injections? Well, when we give uh, start IV infusions, it usually you start, you put clean the skin, and you pass that needle through the skin. So the skin is used in lots of different ways that you normally don't think of. And appearances, like let's take the case of the nurse who's worked a very long shift and her feet are swollen. Her skin is going to be really stretched. And um, the veins are swollen, feet are stretched. And just a few helpful pointers, the kind of shoes you wear. Try to avoid narrow shoes and high heels really hard on this and destroys the skin of the feet. Gangrene also is another way to tell that something is wrong with the skin. If you have a patient, like a diabetic patient, you take a look at the, um, they've got gangrene or peripheral vascular disease. You can see that the skin breakdown, it, sometimes the skin begets necrotic, it's just, the tissue just dies because of poor circulation. And I, there's a lot more to cover if you read the article on that page, because I can only cover so much in the video. Have a great day.